We now move on to the creation of sessions. And creating a session is a relatively easy process. Now before I go ahead and show you how to do that, the first thing I'll do is to actually do a quick preview of my cookies. And obviously my preview page has this URL here. So it starts with preview. So any cookies or sessions should actually start with preview. So I'll refresh. And as you can see, there are no sessions or cookies actually in my browser. So let me go back to code anywhere and I'll create a new file. I'll call this one create session.php. And I'll go ahead and open that file. The first thing I'll do is to start my PHP code block. And to actually create a session, as I said, it's, it's really easy. We just use session underscore start. Run brackets and semicolon. I'll go ahead and save that. We'll go to my preview. Just do a quick refresh here. And we'll open this create session.php file. So that should have actually created a session. I'll go to my cookies. Let me refresh. And we'll look for preview. Indeed, it's there. And you can see we have one cookie. And this cookie actually contains the session ID. That's this unique number here. I'll go back to code anywhere. Now to actually drop some data into that session, we do the following. It's dollar underscore session. And we use square brackets and tick marks. And inside here, we put the name or the key for this session data. So let's say I want to store my name and let's say my age. So we'll put name. Well, my name is Patrick. So we'll put Patrick. If I can spell my own name, there we go semicolon and let's say I also want to store my age and let's not give the game away let's say that my age is 21 I'm a little bit older than 21 but there we go I can save that go to my preview I can refresh this session file go to my cookies and we'll refresh here and we'll see what happens. I've still got my preview. I still have one cookie. I'll click on it and I still see that unique identifier. So the data that I've actually stored in that session, this here, is not stored in the browser cookie. It's only this unique identifier, this session ID. The actual data is actually stored at the server end. So that makes the use of sessions a little bit more secure than cookies. Uh, the actual user has no way to actually amend this data here. It is done from the server end. 